And your face is swelling. Oh, your arm's swelling too, look. Uh, can I look at your arm? Mm. Did you spill herbicide on your arm? <sighs> that looks like welts in a rash. Has asthma ever done this to you before? Never had this with asthma. It mean, looks like a sting on your arm. Uh, do you have swelling anywhere else? Um, uh, my tongue is swollen. I'm allergic to bees. Um, there was a bee. I just didn't feel it. I didn't feel it sting me. Anaphylaxis is a severe allergic reaction that may cause the air passages to swell. What immediate action is required? A. Remove the stinger. B. Have a bystander call EMS 911 and have the affected person administer the EpiPen if available. C. First aider administers the EpiPen if available and calms the person down to help slow breathing. Or D. Drive the anaphylactic person to the nearest medical facility. C or B, right? Okay, so let's kind of do this process of elimination, right? We're not going to drive them to a medical facility. No. We're not worried about the stinger, right? If there was no allergic reaction, okay, sure, let's take care of the stinger. And you guys are going to learn how to remove a bee sting and how to treat that tomorrow. Um, but right here, the argument is call and have them self-administer or let them have us administer and just calm them down. So what's the piece missing? What's the difference between the two? So it's either self-administer, be administered, 911, but there's no 911 here, right? Epinephrine, which is the drug inside an auto injector like an EpiPen, has a temporary ability to counteract a deadly allergic reaction. And so if you administer this, but you don't call 911, you don't get them to help, what could happen? It wears off and then it comes back, right? So anytime if you're going to use an EpiPen, then you're also going to call 911. But I think one of the confusions up there is self-administer, so she should do it herself or could I do it? Yeah. Here's the thing, and this has just recently changed. So we used to say they have to do it themselves. Now we're saying if they're not able to do it themselves or they're not comfortable to do it themselves, as first aiders, we can say, I'm trained, I know how to do this, would you like me to inject that for you? And if they give you permission, they give you consent, then you're going to do it. Now, all of a sudden, you're going, what? <laughs> really? You want me to do it? Let me tell you this. It's not that difficult. A three-step process. And on the EpiPen itself, on the auto injector, very clear loose safety release. I'm going to do this on myself, but if you're helping somebody, you're obviously doing it on them, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> then it says, uh, swing and firmly push orange tip against outer thigh so it clicks and holds for several seconds. Now I like to teach you this. Hold on to your thumb. Okay? We really want to do this when we're jabbing something, but tell me what would happen if I accidentally picked it up upside down. Yeah. The needle's going in my thumb, so I poisoned myself with an injected uh, an injection of epinephrine. But guess what? Here's this person, and I've just used up their medicine, right? So that's why I say always hold on to your thumb. And if you do it wrong, literally nothing will happen. But what's going on? Oh, I have it upside down. Remember, grab your thumb, okay? So it says just swing it out. Now it needs to go in the outer thigh, in between the knee and the hip, just swing it out in a little click. There's no needle in it. <laughs> this is a trainer, this is just for practicing. And in fact, I'm gonna put it back together and we'll pass it around and try it out. Don't be afraid, honestly, no needle, okay? When you're done injecting, and you've got to hold it there for a good 10 seconds because all the medicine has to come out of here and go into the muscle, right? Okay? Um, once you pull it out, they have these guards on it so that I can't accidentally get poked with the needle. So that's pretty cool. Um, so like I said, I'm going to hand this around after you've tried it out on yourself. Honestly, no needle. See? No hole. And it goes right through jeans, right? You don't have to take clothing off. You can go right through the jeans. Check this out, and I'll pass it around, and you can take a look at it and play with it. This is the coolest thing that I've seen. It's an auto injector for epinephrine, which is the drug that counteracts deadly allergic reactions. Different than what's going around right now. New on the market. 
it talks to you. Here. Yes. Okay. So what does it say? This is a trainer too, so it's not going to do anything to hurt me. I pull it out of the case. This trainer contains no needle or drug. So in real life, it won't say that. <laughs> if you are ready to use, pull off red safety guard. Right here. To inject, place black end against outer thigh and press firmly at molded place for five seconds. Five. Four, three, two, awesome. one. Awesome. That's awesome. Injection complete. That's awesome. <laughs> How cool is that? There was a woman in the class, and she was just like nervous and upset. Even when I pulled out the trainer, she said, I could never do that. I could never do that. And I got home, and that was in the mail. I had ordered it, and I brought it in the next day. She was so comfortable with it. There's something about this that makes it more comfortable. It's not as threatening, right? It's in a less threatening package. It tells me what to do. I don't have to read, right? I love this slide. So we know if somebody has a deadly allergic reaction, what are we going to do? And then preferably have them self-administered, but if they're not able to, what can we do? We'll do it for them. We can ask them, get their consent with their permission, we'll do it for them, right? Nice. Zara, call 911. Tell them Haley is allergic to bees and has been stuck. She's having difficulty breathing and will administer the EpiPen. Do you know the address here? Okay. Remove safety tip. Jab tip firmly into outer thighs through clothing so it clicks. Hold into thigh for 10 seconds. I'm oh, here. I can take that. I still got my gloves on. I'll make sure to give this to EMS. I'll have to be EMS. An epinephrine auto-injector is only a temporary treatment for anaphylaxis, which can be life-threatening. There are ten symptoms on the next screen. Identify the six correct ones. So would you say itchiness would yes. be a sign of symptoms? Yeah. yeah. What about blisters? No. Blisters? No. Yes. Okay. From the skin, maybe. Okay. Clots? Yes. Rash? Yes. Bleeding? No. Swelling? Yes. Squeezing chest pain? No. Nausea? Vomiting? No. Am I leading you the way? No. <laughs> Hallucinations? No. no. Breathing difficulties? Yes. yes. Okay, let me hit play. With allergic reactions. There it is. Itchiness, no blisters. Hives and a rash? Okay. No bleeding. Swelling? No squeezing chest pain. Nausea, vomiting, and breathing difficulties, right? So when we see these things, we're going to act accordingly, right? And if they, if they come on pretty strong, or somebody has a deadly allergic reaction, we see these things.